So we'll kick off day two of Royal Ascot then with the feature race of the meeting, the Ascot Gold Cup. It's a two and a half mile group one. Uh, at the top we've got Duke, Duke of Dremoyne, or Padre Hogan, Hammer and Anvil, Joshua Sutherland, Kiko's Accord, David Robertson, Devilish Game, Darren Thompson, Gainesville Shopper, Mini Gerard, Highbury in October, and Jumping Bean for Graham Clutterbuck, Nero's Diamond for Craig Beckwith, Poppet's Path, and Quishkey Superstar for Dan Hughes, Santa Rosa Monkey, Vinnie Gerard, Six Fields, Martin Needham, and Southern Comfort for Paul Rhodes, a field of 13. It's still ready to go. The rain's gone away today. And we're away racing. Southern Comfort a little bit slow to go, but there's two and a half miles to travel, so no need to be concerned. And it's Devilish Game who's going to get across to this right on lead, I think. So Devilish Game then. They're settling down in front. Decent size field for a gold cup this 13. With the two Dan Hughes horses wide on the track. Pop its path and Kushki Superstar. That's the leading three. And towards the back. Kiko's Accord is just the back marker, but it's Pop its path. Who's got the lead from stable mate Kushki Superstar. Duke of Dremoyne in the yellow jacket is third. With Jumping Bean, Santa Rosa Monkey in the green jacket. Right over on the far side is close up as well. They're really tightly packed. With the exception of this leader who's got a good two length lead as they come up past the enclosures in the stands. And shortly past the winning post and then head out for a complete circuit of the Ascot track and pop its path. He's leading by about four lengths to Kushki Superstar and Duke of Dremoyne, who are sharing second. And Jumping Bean is after that one, then Six Fields and Hammer and Anvil. Yeah, Santa Rosa Monkey and Gainesville Shopper after that. And Nero's Diamond also is there. Devilish Gamer was in the lead early on, he's now the back marker. Um, not sure what's going on there. Well, it's Poppet's Puff, who's showing the path home. Leading by four lengths to Quishki Superstar in second. And Hammer and Anvil is third. Sixfields is moving to fourth. And Duke of Dremoyne and Harbour in October. Sudden Comfort is after that one. Uh, Jumping Bean and Devilish Game. Nero's Diamond is now taking a turn in the back marker's place. As the pace is pretty hot for a two and a half mile up. And Poppet's Path is five clear of stablemate Quishki Superstar. He's got two or three lengths on six fields and hammer and anvil. In Southern Comfort is after that one. Highbury in October and Jumping Bean. And Santa Rosa Monkey and Gainesville Shopper. Devilish Games after that one. And there's Diamond still the back marker. Poppet's Path is not hanging a bit. And he's leading by four or five. And Quishky Superstar. Gainesville Shopper's now moved through into third, some comforts move through into fourth, so they're shuffling for position in the pack. And the leading pair just coming back to them a little bit now. Poppets back by two. Quishki Superstar by two. Then Gainesville Shopper's got a length up on Southern Comfort. Then just behind him, Devilish Game and Hybrid October. Jumping Bean is next. Then Duke of Dremoyne with Hybrid October running wide on the track. Six Fields is now taking a turn to be the back marker. And it's Poppets Path who's got the lead. Putting the lead all the way, and I don't think it's going to stay in the lead for much longer because it's Devilish Game who's come round the outside now to take it up. So Devilish Game goes on from Highbury in October, Southern Comfort, Santa Rosa Monkeys next, then Jumping Bean and Gainesville Shopper, Poppets Path, and Quishki Superstar are both dropping through the field like stones. Also towards the back now is Hammer and Anvil, Six Fields is also out the back, but it's Devilish Game and Santa Rosa Monkey with four furlongs to go in the Gold Cup wide on the track is Highbury in October. Then also trying to come through with a run now, Gainesville Shopper is still there. Kiko's Accord trying to get back into it as well, so too is Nero's Diamond, but it's Santa Rosa Monkey in the green who's gone to the front from Devilish Game in second. Southern Comfort is back in third, then Highbury in October 4th. These four are starting to pull away from the rest of them, and Santa Rosa Monkey's gone for home with two to go. Santa Rosa Monkey from Devilish Game in second, then Southern Comfort and Highbury in October. Gap back to Duke of Dremoyne and Nero's Diamond, but it's Santa Rosa Monkey with a furlong and a half to go, who's now a length clear. Santa Rosa Monkey from Devilish Game in second. Highbury in October is back in third, but it's Santa Rosa Monkey 
who's inside the final third. I'm going to Santa Rosa Monkey. Looks like he's going to take the Gold Cup. Santa Rosa Monkey is still in front by a length then. Trying to close on the inside is Devilish Game. Santa Rosa Monkey hanging on. And Santa Rosa Monkey takes it from Devilish Game second. And then Southern Comfort was third. And then Harbour in October was after that one. And Jumping Bean finished one as well. And Santa Rosa Monkey, Vinny Gerard, sprint as middle distance, long distance, you name it, he can win it. And Santa Rosa Monkey's just taken the Ascot Gold Cup for Vinny Gerard. Devilish Game was second for Darren Thompson. Southern Comfort for Paul Rhodes was third. Highbury in October, Grand Clitterbuck fourth. And Duke of Dremoyne for Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs> 